So I just finished Java Fundamentals at WGU, and I think the class was really good, actually. I enjoyed a lot of aspects of it. I hadn't used Java a ton before, so it was nice to learn the fundamentals. And I'm going to be talking briefly about my attempt or my passing the objective assessment on my first attempt. What's cool about the objective assessment is that there are 14 questions and they're not multiple choice. They're all coding questions. So I think they use an automatic grader to be able to grade those without needing anyone to look at them. But I like that. You have to actually code. It's not just understanding Java, maybe trivia stuff. It's more like, hey, can you actually code in Java, at least at a fundamental level? So overall, I actually enjoyed it. Like I said, it was cool. Some tips on how to pass it on your first attempt. And by the way, I actually got a, a exemplary grade, so I was grateful for that. And some tips to be able to replicate that or at least pass with a competent grade. One tip is to definitely use the pre-assessment, but I would actually recommend even before that, going through the practice test that's in the Zybooks. So at the end of the Zybooks for Java Fundamentals, there are something like 14 or maybe 16 questions that, at least for me, were pretty similar, if not exactly identical, to the questions on the pre-assessment. So getting those down, taking the time to really master what those practice questions are like can really help someone to not only crush the pre-assessment, but also the objective assessment. And the reason I say that is because the objective assessment is super similar to the pre-assessment. A lot of people on Reddit have noted this about the class, but really the only differences are things like maybe the numbers used to talk about different scenarios and also specific variation, uh, or rather what I'm trying to say is there might be variations on the questions that are given on the pre-assessment. For example, instead of multiplying by something, you have to subtract by something. But it's very similar. So if someone understands the Zybooks practice exam and then the pre-assessment, they're going to really do well on the objective assessment. So for me, I didn't read through a ton of the Zybooks material, really like maybe 10%, just to catch up on specific concepts. On the pre-assessment, I really wanted to get more familiar with things like how to initialize an array list, how to go about the specifics of defining the get and set methods, things like that. But overall, I felt great about it. And those are my tips for doing well on the exam. Again, just get the practice, practice exam down, get the pre-assessment down, and then you'll be good to go. If you have any questions about the Java Fundamentals class, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.